Palletizing absolutely can help with labor shortages. You know, that's one of the one of the main drivers of automated palletizing. When customers grow, you don't really necessarily see a need for automated palletizing. So hey, I can I've got a production line, I don't have a heavy volume, I can use labor to go ahead and do manual palletizing. As their business grows, there's a recognition that automated palletizing really can offer them some, some substantial benefits. We've had some customers actually in the food and beverage space. Their production line, individual production line volumes were really not very high, and so they didn't recognize the need to actually do any kind of automated palletizing. But when you look at across their entire facility, there's a strong demand. That's where robotic palletizing really shows its strengths, is it has the ability to handle multiple different SKUs, so you can handle up to four different SKUs in a particular robotic cell. So by leveraging conveyance, sortation, and robotic technology, we were able to help that customer move from a fully manual palletizing operation into a fully automatic palletizing operation. So there's a lot of different scenarios that certainly provide very tangible benefits to our end customers. If you look at what are their current processes today, what are their labor requirements, uh, labor has been a huge challenge for uh, a lot of our end customers and finding the labor to actually do this, this activity is, is becoming more and more problematic. Palletizing is a difficult job. It's you know, Sometimes the stuff is really heavy and uh, it's time consuming to put the products onto a pallet and automated solutions really provide the um, end customer the uh, ability to you know, automate this and, and then put those people into more effective positions in their organization. There's only so much that an individual can do. And customers may not necessarily think about automated palletizing solutions. So you may have a low line production, so you think, well, I can't justify a palletizing solution. But what we've seen is, is actually as the production line grow, you're not actively thinking about those opportunities. If you look at across your overall production, you can aggregate maybe very low volume production lines across the entire facility and then you can actually justify a palletizing system. So in addition to palletizing, um, as actually what we're showing here at Pack Expo is uh, robotic depalletizing. So there's a different art in depalletizing versus palletizing. Um, certainly revolves around robotic systems, but we have a lot of different technologies that we can bring to bear to do the depal operation as well. Whether it be customized tooling, enhanced computer vision, as well as all of the ancillary equipment that is required for a depal application. So for instance, you do a full layer depalletizing with, uh, with a full layer tool. We've got the unscrambling um, capability as well as all the conveyance downstream.